Good morning from Rome. This is our third day in Rome and it's about, I don't know, 8.30 in the morning. I'm just enjoying the balcony outside and um, having my morning cup of tea, which is lovely. And um, today the plan is to go to the Vatican and the Sistine Chapel. Many of the things that I saw when I was younger when I was here are very different. For example, the Colosseum, there was parts of that, of the Colosseum that weren't even open. And when I was there, I think it was in 85, 86. And you can go underneath now, you can go uh, down in the bottom, which has been excavated. And then you can also go up to the top higher levels. And they have uh, built a sort of like a stage at the, at the level where the gladiators came in, basically the performance floor. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, we went to the Roman Forum yesterday and that is way more extensive than when I was here. I think I have a photo of the forum that I will take a look and maybe uh, post the differences. But you, there wasn't even a park. I don't even think we there was an entrance fee or anything. So now it is very organized and they've done a lot of excavations. And only just recently after COVID, part of it's been opened up. Part of the former palace of Emperor Dominius, I believe, who was after Titus. We had a great tour guide yesterday. Her name was Syriana. And she was funny and she kept us in the shade, which was really nice since it's so hot outside. And then after we did the tour, which was around a three, a little over three hours, we went to eat dinner in, um, we found a gluten-free restaurant called Mama Eat, and I was able to have my first gluten-free pizza. No cheese, unfortunately. It would have tasted a lot better with cheese, but I'm allergic to milk. So anyhow, it was really, it was really good, and uh, we walked home from there. We walked all day today, to, uh, or yesterday. We didn't take any kind of public transportation, uh, so we're definitely getting our steps in. So today we are headed to the Vatican and Sistine Chapel, and we just bought our tickets online. We're not doing a tour, which I think saved us about 40 bucks. But you can just go to their website, to the Vatican's website and buy the tickets online. It saves you money. So anyhow, I think that's it. And uh, just, that was a summary of day two and beginning of day three.